But I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Co Opportunity's journey uh, and how we've been able to thrive in a very competitive marketplace. We're located in Santa Monica, California. And uh, for those of you who haven't been to Santa Monica, it's a very affluent, well educated population. Um, Co Opportunity's been open since 1974 um, and for years has been the only co op and the only natural food store of any size anywhere in that part of LA. So we haven't had a whole lot of competition. But it's also, like I said, a very affluent place, so everybody wants to move in there. Um, we, uh, I actually took a picture of a Google map um, just before I came here, and this is the actual Google map. Um, you can see co-op right in the middle, and these are all our competitors around us now. Um, we actually, and this isn't really facetious, Bruce put this slide together, but we do have three Whole Foods within a five-mile radius of our store. Um, we've got two Trader Joe's, we've got a Sprouts, uh, Rainbow Acres is another small natural food store. So we have a ton of competitors that have moved in since um, the early 2000s, um, which you would figure would completely eat into our market share. Um, but I'll, to give you a little bit of context, we have a pretty small store, under 8,000 square feet. Um, our sales are about 23.5 million this past fiscal year. Um, our sales per square foot are over $3,000. Um, so you can tell that we're doing pretty darn well and our, approximately 70% of our total sales go to members. Um, sales per square foot compared to Trader Joe's and compared to Whole Foods and the industry average, we're doing incredibly well. And here's our line. And our line, we're not topping out yet. We're still going up. Um, there's a couple key points if you look at 2005. Uh, you see a little dip there. That's when the first Whole Foods moved in. Uh, they were within a mile of our store. And our GM told the board, brace for about an 8% hit. Um, what we got was about a 1% to 2% hit. So um, that really taught us a lot and got us thinking about how can we thrive in this marketplace. And I'll talk about that more in a minute. And then if you fast forward up to 2008, you can see that our curve leveled out a little bit during the recession, but um, it didn't go negative. We still were able to grow through the recession. And then when you get to 2011, 2012, um, we brought in uh, John Sudi's company and he helped do a whole redesign of our store to maximize um, our sales in the store in the current small footprint that we have. And you can see how well that worked out for us too. So with that first picture of all the competition around us so close, it's an incredibly competitive market. How were we able to keep our, uh, our numbers going from, I think it was about 13 million in 2001 up to over 23 million uh, this past year? Uh, a number of things. One, um, our GM started getting the, uh, the senior managers in the store to go out and do um, little strengths and weaknesses uh, reports on all of our various competitors. And so, uh, and we do this all the time and we check out their prices, but they did these initial reports and looked at, you know, of course, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, their strengths, they're huge companies, they have lots of money, they can buy a store wherever they want and put it in. But we found a lot of weaknesses too. Um, I'm reading a couple of these. Whole Foods weaknesses, poor service, poor sales per square foot, uh, their image, uh, whole paycheck, that's not a great image. Um, Trader Joe's, some of their weaknesses, poor produce, limited selection, limited organics at both of these stores, um, uncertain commitment, lack of consumer trust. So these are some of the things that the senior managers were finding out about the other stores. Then we did some surveys of our own uh, customers, both members and other shoppers in the store, and we found out a lot of really great information, and this goes back to that 2005 uh, number where we were expecting a big hit in sales, and we didn't get quite a, a, a very big hit. Um, our surveys say people really trust Co-Opportunity. Um, they come in and they know that we really walk the talk. Um, and that was the most often used word in the responses about the store. Um, they viewed the store as friendly um, and uh, some, somewhat surprisingly, uh, a big part of what 
our members liked about the store is the fact that we are a co-op, we're member owned. So the structure of our store is a key sales point to our store and it keeps people coming back. So we used this information from our members and also the information um, that we collected about these other competitors and used that to our advantage. So we found that these are, these are our strengths and we're going to play to these strengths in our marketing and we're going to get better at each of these things too. We have a lot of loyal customers that trust us. We provide great service. We're going to make our service even better. We have excellent local organic produce um, and we really walk the talk where other stores don't do it. And so that really lines up with our ends. These are our ends. Co-opportunity co will be at the forefront of a sustainable, transformed society that has easy access to sustainable, healthy food, robust cooperative economy, thriving community centered on hospitality, kindness, and generosity. So we, these are the key areas of differentiation, how we separate ourselves from our competition. Structure, we're a co-op, we're member owned, we give back to the community, people like that. Service, we provide better service than just about anybody. We have probably over a quarter of our staff of a hundred and some odd people have, been a, have worked at Co-Opportunity for 10 years or more. Um, some have worked up to 30 years. Um, some of our board members too. <laughs> we provide excellent service and we really focused on even improving our service over uh, what it was. And selection. We, a long time ago, started 100% organic produce all the time. We sell local products from over 400 local vendors. So we're really um, providing niche products that you can't get at other places and um, all the other great stuff that uh, you can get. And this really line, this just shows how those three things line up with those ends that I showed you. We're creating more local economy, sustainable local food, happy, healthy people. This was a drawing from one of our board uh, retreats. I think I actually drew this picture where we were talking about growth, we're, we're talking about adding a second store and some people are freaked out, our members are like, well, you're gonna grow big like Whole Foods and you're not gonna be the same co-op that I know and love. How are we gonna talk about that? And we started talking about it, co-ops are better than the competition. We keep money in the local economy, um, we give back to the community, we buy from local farmers, rather than a big corporate store that takes that money from the community and ships it off to Austin, Texas or wherever else. Um, so we started our growth campaign around that and this is how we talk about growth now. Um, from a position of strength, we're, we're providing more co-op economy that you like, more organic sustainable food and more happy and healthy people.